the fun experiment involving a CD. You can pause the instructions anytime you wish, but in the meantime, I'm going to play a good CD in the background. For this experiment, I did something that will undoubtedly horrify CD purists. I took a perfectly good CD and I made a big red mark on it. Oh, bad news, huh? What I did was to make this red mark so that you could actually see something. Inside a CD player, there's this reed head, and the little pits and lands on the CD go by this reed head at a tangential velocity. But the reed head is picky because it likes to have this go by at a constant speed. So what happens is that the rotational speed of the CD has to change depending on whether the song is near the hub, which is number one, or near the edge, which is number 10, or 12, or whatever the numbers are. Okay, so I'm hoping you'll be able to see this. So we're gonna try to play this and hope that it will work, because we got this nice little window on the CD player. There, now the CD player is ready to go. So it's going, and it is playing nothing yet. So let's see if we can make this go to one. Now watch carefully to see if you can see the little red mark go by. See, there's the red mark and it's going by. It's going by pretty darn fast because song number one is near the hub. So the CD has to rotate at its maximum speed in order to get the uh, tangential speed the way the reed head wants it. But now look what happens when we make this go instead of to one, we'll make this go to 10. This is song number 10, out at the very edge. The CD doesn't have to go so fast. Do you see how the rotational speed has changed significantly? Right, way slower now. I know we can't count these because they're a little bit too fast for us, but uh, in any event, I'm hoping that the purists don't object too much to this because after all, this is all for the joy of physics.